Hi folks, got a little review and a showcase for you. Got some new cigar box battle mats in. I think it was last week. Thereabouts. Got three brand new mats, including a Mediterranean or Caribbean uh, battle mat. Also a, a snow battle mat. It's got some texture going on in the ends here. And I got this, which is the Scrubland, I believe. Uh, it's got a winter theme to it. Uh, let's take a look at these and lay them out and give my impressions of what I think about these uh, mats, some of which are brand new. This one, anyway, the Caribbean. Let's take a look at these and see what they look like laid out. All right, there we got the snow uh, battle mat all laid out. Now, this has some texture on it, obviously. It's got some uh, crevices or roads or something in there. Not sure exactly what that is. Looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, this isn't your plain uh, snow field, so it's got some, the texture adds a lot of interest. Uh, almost looks like a, a chasm going on in there. Let's take a little closer look and see what's going on. This is, of course, made of fleece, which isn't your felt. It's very, very nice. It's got some blue texturing going on here. Of course, all this up here, kind of browns, and some type of dark shade of green going on. More dark browns, very earthy. So it is like a little chasm running through here, uh, kind of like in an ice field. Uh, that's just wonderful, awesome. I think I'll get use of this for uh, my World War II games for sure. I could see this being used in a science fiction layout as well. Or a fantasy, especially. Let's zoom out here. Whoops, wrong way. There's a close-up of the chasm. How well that shows up. But it's 6x4 plus, so it overlaps your table. Which is nice, which means you can put things underneath it. Uh, which I often do. And I highly recommend. A little dark down there. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Let's put a few miniatures on the table and put some... Uh, some hills underneath and see what this actually looks like in action. Right there, I got a little bit of height going on, some elevations. As you can see, got that uh, Griffin Rider up there, the high elves. He's uh, looking good, sitting on top of a hill there, which looks fantastic. Little guy there. And of course, I got some oncoming pincer. As you can see, I just threw these underneath, so I got a little bit of uh, uh, stuff going on down there. But this gives you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, it looks like a fantastic map. Very useful, I think. Get some better lighting down there. Let me get over here so you can kind of see the texture colors. Uh, again, you got that brown and greens going on in there. And yeah, I believe that is a chasm, so... You could easily build up around that and get some elevation and have a really good 3D effect with all that texturing going on as well. Uh, looks fantastic. Again, 6x4, high quality fleece. I like it. I think I'm going to get used to this, particularly for World War II uh, or anything to set my mind to. So there it is, folks. That is the snow battle mat. Uh, okay, let's all right. check out the next one. Back out a little bit. Now again, this is a 6x4 plus, so there's plenty of overhang, as you can see. Uh, and this is the scrub land, so you can see that overlap there. Now this is a 6x4 tabletop, so it holds quite well. I left the hills underneath, you can just see uh, the bumps. So let me take this off and get a little shaky cam going on here. You can kind of see... The elevation points I have on here. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. And that is really a selling point for me with these mats. And of course I put those little rocks there. Uh, is the fact that you can put things underneath this uh, mat and get some really good elevation points that look natural. So there you go. This is the scrubland. It looks great. I think this could be used for kind of a, a winter theme because you got that white going on. You got some snow effect in a way. Winter scrub, scrubland. Uh, I'll get used to this for my Napoleonics for sure. And I don't know how well these are going to show up. But the 
these guys down there, give you some idea. You know, you'd have to get some better lighting going on to actually see it. But look at that. Yeah, the colors and textures are perfect. I can see this quickly becoming one of my favorite mats. So there you go. Very useful. World War II Napoleonics. This could go with anything, I'm sure. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the third mat that I got. And there we go. Look at that. This is definitely one of my favorite mats I think they have made. I think it's... I mean, it just looks fantastic. You got your shallow points. Of course, I don't have anything underneath the mat because there's no need for elevations like hills and things. But that is fantastic, folks. Look at that. Some of the newer mats uh, that Cigar Box has been producing, they have this little uh, uh, branding tag, usually on the corner, on one of the corners of these things. But uh, the newer ones, they're starting to put them on the underside corners of it so you will never see the tag I know some people had issues with that I have never had an issue with it uh, they were always small enough that it was never an issue just for effect I'll put down some green islands uh, not bad actually that looks pretty good no beaches but yeah look at that see if I could back out and get more to the light and maybe get a close-up because this is this is a really really good map and I think it is one of my favorites if not my favorite now the only thing is I don't have any ships currently uh, well you know what let me look and see and magically a ship appears let me get focused on them I do have another ship that's a 15 millimeter Essex cog I have another one somewhere with its sails up but, uh, I'm not going to go looking for him, but there you go. Look at that. That is fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite mats. Now, this is for a project of mine. I'm going to be doing some Naval Ancients uh, gaming. Uh, and this mat was perfect, uh, especially since it was uh, more greenish and shallow water effects going on, uh, which is ideal for the Mediterranean, which is what I'm trying to achieve so it's got a perfect effect that I'm looking for. And you could probably use this for any region, uh, particularly the Pacific, because it does have that green tone. Uh, all right. Again, 6x4 uh, plus, so you can have a slightly bigger layout if you wanted. Uh, you could fit islands on there. Looks great with the ship. That's a textured base ship. I could see a mountain, your ship's on clear bases, just to show off the, the water effect. That is fabulous, folks. Definitely one of my favorite mats, if not my favorite mat. I hope to get a lot of use of this. Okay, folks, so there you go. These are the threeest new cigar box mats I have recently acquired. And this, this one here, the Mediterranean, uh, which can double as, or not Mediterranean, the <clears throat> Caribbean, sorry, which can double as a Mediterranean. Uh, is brand new so go ahead and check it out cigar box battle mats this is these mats here are highly recommended by me and i use them all the time um, just fabulous work on this stuff all right if any questions about these mats let me know leave them in the comments like subscribe comment uh, if you like this video and want to see me do more of reviews of uh, cigar box battle mats or any other wargaming products all right. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back. Bye-bye.